what is going on guys in last video we have integrated the login with firebase where we have successfully logged in in our application using email and password in this video we will start designing the home screen with bottom navigation bar where we will have different items like home favorite cart profile page so let's get started with the video so first let's close everything and let's open home screen so we'll design over here so we have added this logout button and text we can remove this and here we'll design so here what we will do we'll add a bottom navigation bar over here and the content screen over here so we require two things bottom navigation bar and the content so where we will add bottom navigation bar we can use a scaffold for that so i will use scaffold and here we have to pass the content screen so for that i will create a different composable so that we can place that above the bottom bar so composable let's say content screen and in scaffold we can pass that content screen and modifier equals to modifier dot padding we have to pass the padding provided by scaffold so we will get padding on it now in the scaffold you can pass bottom bar so how we will create bottom bar so here you can see we have bottom bar and inside this it expects the item that is navigation bar so we have to pass navigation bar over here so here we can pass navigation bar and inside that we can pass any composable you can design any composable let's say we have text test bottom bar let's say if I run now, you can see over here test bottom bar. We already have the bottom bar over here and we have the content screen over here. You can see now we have to design this bottom bar in such a way that uh, we have some items and some icons over here. So what we will do, we will use another composable not text. We will use navigation bar item. So we have this composable already available. So let's put it on separate line. For now selected, let's pass true or false anything. On click, leave it like this icon. We have to pass, let's say icon. We will use image vector uh, from from icons dot default dot let's say the shopping cart and content description will be cart. If I run now, you can see we have one item shopping cart. It is visible. We can also pass the label which will be text composable. Let's say cart. Here you can see we have one item in the same way. If we do it multiple times inside navigation bar, we have multiple navigation item. Let's say two, three. If you re run, you can see we have three item. So in this way, we can add now multiple navigation bar item. Instead of doing this, what I will do, I will create a list so that I can get it from there. So I will create a simple data class. Data class, let's say nav item. We will have two things that is the icon and that label. So I will give label string icon image vector so i've created a data class i will make a list of these items so here what i will do before scaffold value nav item list let's say equals to list of we'll create four items so let's say nav item we'll pass we'll pass label as home and icon as icons dot default dot let's say home icon same way we can create four of them here what i will do second will be favorite third will be cart and profile so for favorite i will use favorite icon cart i will use shopping cart or profile i will use some person icon so we have this items so we can make a for loop on this and we can use it over here instead of using individually now here we don't require this nav items we are adding individually so we'll add it at once using for loop so what i will do nav item list dot i will use for each indexed we need index as well so we require index and the item whatever we have here we will use navigation bar item once let's put argument on different line so in selected what we have to do so we have to find out either it is selected or not if i click on this if it is selected it should highlight so in that way we have to find out which index it is it is first that means it has index zero it has one it has two in this way we have to find out which index it is so for that what i will do here i will create one variable to store whichever it is selected so let's say selected index by remember mutable state of let's give a value zero so let's import now here in selected what i will do i have to pass a boolean so if current index that means it if the current index of the item is equal to selected index that means it is selected if it is equal this is selected if last one is equal it is selected so here what i will do if index equals to equals to selected index so it will provide the boolean either true or false and it will assign it to selected so on click we will not do anything for now on the icon what i will do i will use i will use icon composable image vector i will pass it from here we have already defined over here so we'll use that so nav item dot icon and content description 
we can give any description let's say nav item dot label also we have to pass the label so let's give label text composable text is equal to nav item dot label it will be called four times we have four items so let's run now let's see how it looks so you can see over here we have four item it is selected because we have defined it zero on click we are not doing anything you can see we have four items with label and icons now in on click what we have to do this is selected how because we are storing the variable now in on click what we can do we can assign selected index is equal to equals to current index that is index so this selected index should be variable not value and import set value also now whenever it is clicked current index will be selected index if i run now you can see now it is selected this is selected now and this is selected in navbar item you have lots of properties you can use those enabled always show label if you want to hide labels if you want to if you want to provide different colors you can have colors property also and you can have lots of thing you can see over here but i will use the simple one so whenever we select it is highlighted that's it we have bottom navigation bar here we have content screen content screen is right now empty if i give let's say text content screen you can see content screen over here so whatever you have selected right now it is content screen but it should be whenever we select home it should be home page favorite it should be favorite page cart it should be cart page and profile it should be profile page so for that what i will do first i will create four pages so here outside this in the package what i will do i will create package that i will call as pages new i will create four pages let's say home page composable home page so here i will just pass text home page same way i will create three more pages favorite page composable favorite page cart page composable cart page text i will add for now cart page and one more profile page composable profile profile page text let's say profile page now we have four different pages now we can utilize this in the content screen here in the content screen what we will do we will check if the index is zero that means we have to show the home screen if it is one we have to show the favorite screen so for that in the content screen i will also pass selected index so that we can get it over here selected index as int now here we will do we'll remove this text when selected index when we have selected index if it is zero will show the home page if it is one will show the favorite page if it is two will show card page if it is three will show profile page that's it also we should pass the modifier so that we can use it there so we'll pass it and now if i run you can see we have home page favorite page card page profile page now you can click on anything and you can design anything in any page you can design the home page differently favorite page differently cart page and profile page so in this way we have created the bottom navigation bar which is working as expected so that's all for this video in next video we will design the home page so here we will have the titles we will have the banners and we will have the categories so we will design this page if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye